Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. Friends, subscribers, new viewers, and renegades. I know you're in the house because today we're going back down that Ren rabbit hole, checking out Masochist, which I probably should have done before I did the last one, Lost All Faith, but that's just how it worked out. Honestly, I was going to switch back over to the Big Push and check out the War Pigs mashup, but, uh, man, I'm just really, really, really in the mood for some rap-ish. So I'm hoping that's what we get with this masochist song. Now, some people told me in the comments that this was even darker than the other one, which I thought was a pretty dark song, um, uh, Lost All Faith. But that's all right, because honestly, y'all, I'm in the mood for some dark music right now. Like, things are stressful, and dark music can be cathartic at times when it is stressful. So, let's see what we got here. Now listen, if this is your first time watching, let me please know I'm going to be pausing this video and talking about what we're listening to and what we are seeing, etc. If that's going to bug you because you haven't seen this before, then please click on that link right down below. Bounce over to Ren's channel where you should watch the video there. Give him a like, give him a sub, then hit that back button. Come back over here, hang out with us. And also, please hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think of this song, what you think of everything that's going on. And I would love to get a discussion started on all of that and get back to as many of you as I can. So, finally, if you like this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up We and a subscription. We are just about to crack 10,000. We're getting really close. So, with that being said, are you excited? I'm excited, man. Every time we do Ren, I, I, I get a little mm, inside because I love this shit. Let's do it. Ren Masochist. Now, if you don't know what a masochist is, it is a person who derives gratification, usually sexual, from pain or humiliation. So, let's see what's up here. Kill. 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 Mother, mother, that's a killer on the beat. I'm a move flow, I kind of boot, I'm this time to eat. Ah, I like that right there. A little bit of Muhammad Ali reference the classic float like a butterfly, but then you change it to kill the beat. I like that. I like that a lot. He actually had a bar similar to that in the uh, last one we listened to. Okay, let's switch the role play. I'll be the full case, you be OJ. Oh. Apply the pressure, right to the letter on the probate. My flow okay. is cocaine, stop by the key G. <laughs> That's the sound of the police. Okay. The police coming straight out of Brighton Town. Watch okay. me run around with a supersonic ultrasound. Okay, let's go back right there, all you hip hop heads. I'm sure you caught that. I caught that. That whoop whoop. That's the sound of the police. That's a little shout out to KRS One. That's the name of the song right there. Whoop whoop. That's the sound of the beast. And then right after that, he did a little shout out to our NWA's "Fuck the Police." Straight out of Compton, they changed it to Straight Out of Brighton. Brighton. Or maybe it's Bright Town. I'm not sure. Bounce back there a little bit. My flow is cocaine stacked by the KG. I wonder what the KG is. I'm not sure what that is. The KG. Hmm, I don't know. CG. That's the sound of the police. Fuck the police coming straight out of Brighton Town. Watch me run around with that supersonic ultrasound. I came to bring the pain and turn it back around. Hi. My name is Kill. I'm fucking up your town. Okay, he said we got a, we got lots of little hip hop shout outs right here too. Lots of little fucking hip hop head nuggets for those of us that like these little Easter eggs. So we got um uh, we got the little Fuck the Police coming straight out of Compton reference right there, followed up by um, a nice little Method Man, I Came to Bring the Pain, which could be either referencing Method Man or honestly Tupac as well, because, um, let's see, let me look at my timeline here. He did KRS-One, um, whoop, whoop, that came out in 93, Bring the Pain by Method Man, it was off his first CD, uh, his first uh, independent, or not independent, his first um, solo release CD, and that was 94, and then Tupac in 96 on um, No More Pain sampled Bring the Pain and turned the opening bar, I came to bring the pain, hardcore from the brain, let's go inside my astral plane, turned that into the chorus of No More Pain. So it kind of hits a, a couple different uh, 
references right there. I, I'm really, I really like this, dude. I'm into my hip hop, obviously. So anytime I see respect like this getting paid, I, I really like it. Kudos to Ren. Your mother, kill your father, kill yourself, and kill your karma. Kill, kill, kill. Oh, and then right after that, he had a little hi. My name is shout out for Eminem as well. Kill, kill, samsara, reincarnate, reach nirvana. Kill your lover, kill your partner, kill the ones that push you farther. Kill your idols, kill your gods, kill the prophets, kill them often. Kill, kill the one upon the cross. No. Oh. Gotta run this back. Uh, he said, "Kill the one upon the cross." That's uh, that's uh. Scarface. Hey, no. Sorry, this literally happened the last one I did too. These cats doing the exact same thing. Same cat, same thing, same time on the same or a different Ren video. My gosh. Sorry. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe, ham is thing like a bee. Float like a butterfly, then to survive the bee. Okay, let's risk the role play. I'll be the full case, you be OJ. Apply the pressure, right to the letter on the probate. My throat is cocaine, stacked by the key G. That's the sound of the police. He said body bag burning you. I like that flow switch right there too. That was that was real nice. That was real Okay, all right. That's a nice chorus, too. Yeah, this is dark. I like all the blood splattered lyrics on here, too. Kill the labels, kill the vultures, kill your greed, and kill Jehovah. He's talking about kill everything. I wonder what, I wonder what he's meaning here. Just kill your greed and kill Jehovah. Kill the broken infrastructure. Kill, kill the broken infrastructure. Kill your ego. Kill your ego. Kill your culture. Kill your culture. Kill your masters. Kill your maker. Kill your master. Kill your maker. Kill the dawning of creation. Kill your mother. Kill your father. Kill yourself and kill your karma. Kill, 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 kill. kill your mother. Kill your father. Kill yourself and kill your karma. Sam, kill Samsara. I'm not sure what that means right there. What is Samsara? Kill Samsara, reincarnate, reach Nirvana. Kill your lover, kill your partner, kill the ones that push you farther. Kill your idols, kill your gods, kill the prophets, kill them often. Kill. Kill the one upon the cross. Kill the butcher, kill the bagel, kill the tinker, kill the tailor. Kill the soldier, kill the sailor. Love myself and kill my neighbor. Kill the power, kill the lies, kill the music, set the blind. Kill these metaphors, I write to all attachments in this life. Kill these metaphors I write to all attachments in this life. I mean, obviously these are metaphors. He's not telling you to go out and literally do these things. Um, to me, what I'm getting here is like, once again, the way I felt when I was watching um, and listening to uh, Lost All Faith. This feels like he is just kind of just letting the darkness out, man. Just letting it out. And a lot of this to me when i hear things like all these kill this kill that kill this kill that it can represent almost just like a, a complete new birth like shedding your old skin get rid of all that shit and just starting over fresh is the impression that i get now i don't know if that's what ren means specifically from that but when i'm listening to it that's what it means to me and that's the cool thing about art is it can be a little bit subjective to that i'd love to know exactly what he meant to me i'm getting the kill off all of the old you and birth yourself new kind of vibes at least here halfway through the song kill 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 i've been hollow in my sorrow swallow more for years pill i can feel body start to pill i don't feel real for real my mind is ill and it makes me wanna kill oh man wow all right let's talk about some dark lyrics hold on The host with the most, the force of ten men. Rope on my throat, I flow like ocean. Provoking the ghost, ferocious old man. Choking the Pope, how well you know Ren. Could he be him? Could he be Ren? Choking the Pope, how well you know Ren. 
Speaking on a rap level here, just another flow switch, a little beat switch. It, it's sounding really good. Like from a hip hop, from a rap standpoint, this song is banging. His lyrics are very dark. I'm curious as to what he means on a lot of this stuff. Ten men, rope on my throat, I flow like ocean. Provoking the ghost, ferocious old man. Mm. Choking the Pope, how well you know, Ren. Could he be him? Could he be Ren? Could he be coming to kill it again? Could he be real? Could he be back? Could he be ripping up another track? Could it be not? Can't be him, could have been anybody. Mm. Nah, 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 mate. I'm pretty sure that's not him. Could he be possibly, probably, honestly, I'm an amateur. We're starting to bother me. Follow my mother, say, follow me, follow me, follow me down to the river. Run on me, I'm an anomaly. I am an odyssey, climbing the property, add a monopoly for the philosophy. No one is stopping me. Could it be, could it be, could it be, could it be? Vim, 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 that's the sound. Got to run that back again, too. That, that's, wow. Okay, wow. Follow me, follow my mother, say, follow me, follow me, follow me down to the river. Run on me, I'm an anomaly. I am an odyssey, climbing the property, add a monopoly for the philosophy. No one is stopping me. Could it be, could it be, could it be, could it be? Vim, 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 that's the sound. Climbing the property ladder monopoly, full of philosophy. Hey, could it be, could it be, could it be, could it be? Vim, 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 that's the sound of a pacifist. Vim, 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 that's the sound of a pacifist. Little misguided turned into a masochist. Wow. Okay. Little misguided turned to a masochist. Chilling with a chainsaw, chopping off your mattress. Forgive this blasphemous motherfucking masochist. Ah. You did say some blasphemous things here if, if, if you're very religious. I like the. I think it's like a synthesizer in the back. It's like building tension in the song as well. Which the last one, uh, Lost All Faith, did a good job of using the music to build tension throughout a very dark and, and kind of stress, angst filled song. Time bomb, dick, dick, boom, out of case. Don't trip, I'm a motherfucking masochist. Okay, all right, man. Yeah, Ren's letting the demons out, I'd say, which is good, it's healthy, I like it. We all need to be able to let the demons out like that. Uh, all right. All right, all right, all right. Wow, that was dark indeed. Uh, but that beat was super, super fire. Uh, the rhyme schemes were great. The way that he switched the flow up was awesome throughout the whole song. I really enjoyed the beginning where he had a little bit of uh, um, a little bit of uh, shout outs to various old school hip hop songs. If you're familiar with those, uh, if you weren't, now you know where they came from. I really like that a lot when when rappers do that. Uh, Adam Calhoun does a lot of that. Uh, Tom McDonald used to do a bit more than he does now. Uh, Upchurch does a lot of that. A lot of these independent guys are paying their respect. And I like it because they're independent white guys too, and they need to be paying respect, honestly, to a lot of these hip-hop roots that they're into. And, and, and I appreciate that as a hip-hop head and as a lover of this music and this culture for like 40 years now. So I really, really enjoyed that song. And it's honestly, it's kind of what I'm in the mood to be hearing right now is just some, some kind of dark, angry music. Um, Sometimes when life is really stressful, that can be a form of an outlet for us. We can, we can kind of release some of our own tension when we hear these types of songs. And I don't know about you, but I'm feeling that vibe right now. And I appreciate Ren putting that out um, because I don't have the talent to be able to express myself uh, like that. So people like me, we need to be able to listen to music like this and be able to use that as a cathartic experience, uh, which I believe it is probably the same for Ren. So... Listen, what did you all think of that song? I thought it was super, super dope. Um, I'm going to toss that on my playlist despite its kind of dark lyrics. I don't have any problem like hearing that and jamming it out throughout the day. So let me know what you think. Uh, I'm going to move on to the next one. We've got a slew of independent artists we are checking out today. we got Loza Alexander. we got Larry Coleman 2020, a couple of local Vegas guys coming up next. So be sure to check those out. Again, thank you for hanging out with me. I'm so glad you stopped by the channel. I will see you all in the next video, all right? Later.